Hello there. So this quick video is about hill starts and how they can be easier. They are quite scary. I know I, when I was learning how to drive and I was a young lad, I was rolling back a few times and it does scare you. And the first thing you do when you roll back is hit that gas, isn't it, when you're first learning because you're thinking that's going to help the difference. The clutch is the key and the handbrake is going to help you. So um, I'll just talk through what I'm going to do, which is I set my gas and I get my biting point for while I'm in first gear. So I need a bit more gas than normal because it's on a hill. So I need probably up to maybe 2000 revs. It might depend on the size of the engine. So you can hear the engine a bit more than normal because it's going to need a bit more power to move off. So that's the first thing you need to be able to do. And then lift that left foot up with a clutch to the biting point so you can feel a bit more pull. Because if you can't feel it pull and you release the handbrake, you're going to roll backwards you went oh no 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 like that that's what's going to happen you're going to panic or you're going to release your handbrake and go you're revving the car up where really it's it's the clutch is is the wrong thing at that point so get the gas on get say a bit more power on the on the gas pedal like accelerate pedal i, I tend to ask my pupils to get towards one and a half to two thousand revs on the rev counter lift that left foot up to the biting point and then think, right, I can feel a, a bit more of a pull. I can feel the car wanting to pull off. Hold the clutch still. If, if you hold, it, hold your feet still, the car's going to do the work for you. Have a good look round, do your five point check that you normally do. And then the key then is the handbrake. And there's no rush. If you take the handbrake off slowly and it rolls backwards, you're straight back on the handbrake like an elastic band so you, you lower the handbrake a little bit if it starts moving forward you just release the handbrake more if it starts to roll backwards you come straight back on with the handbrake so it's probably moved about an inch or two maybe and that'll help you so it's a bit, bit like an elastic band lower it a bit and then straight back up if it's if it's actually um, rolling backwards but keep your feet where they are at that point if it is rolling that clutch needs to be a tad higher so that you don't roll back as much and then all you've got to do then is just have a good look round so you're right, well, looks fine. Handbrake off slowly again. A bit like elastic band, lower it a little bit. Oh, it's gonna move off. So I keep my feet still and just count to three. One, two, three. Lifting my clutch off, increasing my gas at the same time. Okay, so that's, that. that's the perfect way to do it. But as we know, that doesn't always happen. Little things crop up, like the rolling backwards. Now, another little thing that can crop up when you're on a hill start is when you release the handbrake, nothing happens. You don't roll backwards, you don't roll forwards. So the answer to that is that clutch needs to be a little bit higher. So I'll demonstrate it here. So I'll put my gas on, I lift to that biting point, and it might be you've just got to the biting point but because you're on a hill, it needs a bit higher. So if you just get to the biting point and you release the handbrake, so you roll back a touch then, I'll lift it a little bit more, have another look round, release the handbrake, and it's actually doing nothing. So my handbrake's off at the moment. I'm actually sat on a hill with the gas on and the clutch on, and I'm looking at my rev counter, and it's just above one at the moment. So at that point, you're thinking, well, it's doing nothing. I'm not going backwards. I'm not going forwards. So I need to keep an eye on things and adjust that clutch a little bit, but keep that gas going. So a little bit a little higher, and it's moving off. And that's how you can adjust that clutch there. If you jump off that clutch quickly, it's going to kangaroo and stall. And I'm sure that's already happened to you. So that's the quick video talking about what sort of things you should be doing. If, if you if, if you want to look at what the, the feet should be up to, I'll put a, a link on um, on the a video above about controlling the, the pedals moving off. Okay. Good luck with your driving. I hope this has made it a bit clearer to make it easy for your hill starts. If it does, give it the thumbs up. Take care and safe driving.